Hi. Long time no see, right? Well, life happens, as we all know. Life-changing events and absorbing most of my time is that I am in a doctoral program. So I want to apologize for not updating. Uh, just in case you're having a big, huge question mark, what is up with her hair? First of all, no makeup. This is the way I look, a lo natural. Um, I did not color my hair. I mean, I did not do the permanent color like we talked about previously. Um, remember how I would use the powder for getting the edges to cover meanwhile? And then I started doing the colorista. Well, I did the colorista. This is my hair just recently washed. It's still humid. Um, I use Cantu. Cantu is what really works well with my hair. Um, I've tried a lot of other products, but Cantu is the only one that actually works with my hair where I do not worry about frizz. Uh, right now, what you're seeing is that it looks like the ramen noodles a lot of people don't like. It's, it's suffering shrinkage, right? And, um, and some of you have advised me that when your hair is natural and it's healthy, it's going to shrink. And you know what? Guess how long I have not had a haircut. No trim, nothing. Um, almost a year. Is it? Yeah, I went past my six-month mark. I was supposed to get another trim in February for my 55th birthday. Remember that? And I didn't do it because my hair seems so short. September will be officially one year of going naturally curly and going gray. I just did colorista this morning because my hair is curly and I'm a mixed chick, right? I, I don't have like a lot of growth, even though next month I'll be the 18th of next month. I'll be officially, uh, one year going gray. I have observed in other videos where because the hair is straight, I can actually see it dropping the grays. But with me, I don't see it that much. Plus, uh, before I decided to go completely gray, which was a spiritual decision that I made, I, um, I was doing it myself. Like I was buying the box, uh, organic hair coloring and I would just do I would co mostly concentrate here in the front and not so much in the back so my hair looks weird now because like there's a growth of gray hair but there's more growth here and then there's more growth here it's like super off but I do have substantially a lot of gray a lot of gray like if I have put my hair all the way back, all the way back, like in a, when I do a pineapple, it's all white. And then my pineapple is what's the colored part. But now in my pineapple, you'll see some strands of gray popping out. So it's looking more like, not like a pineapple, more like a, a droopy, a droopy coconut tree, palm tree. I am going to put you guys on my schedule because I think you're important and I appreciate all this all the subscriptions um, please keep subscribing and if you have any questions please do so uh, I will be doing some painting while uh, doing my hair if you guys are still interested and in watching me do my hair while I paint and I look forward 
to hearing from you guys, getting more feedback. Oh, so let me show you my growth. A lot of these pictures are through the times, through the year, that I have been going great. Between these clips and my images, you can see how much growth I have. The thing that I have noticed is that the growth is mostly lighter in the front and salt and pepper in the back, but I can tell you that I do not have white, white hair like I thought. I have salt and pepper, mostly salt, and a lot of pepper in the back where nobody can see. So basically, I don't have white hair. I think it's what you may call I have gray hair. Um, gray hair that seems to go towards the silver, I guess. But, um, well, let's go into the sunlight so you can see what I have. And let's see if you can see any grays now, right? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh. I wish I had more blue. So it turns out that I I didn't buy blue because I saw that I had a tube of blue. And I says, oh, I can save money on the blue. And when I went to buy the colorista, there was no more blue anyway. So I was okay with that. But it turns out that I didn't have a lot of blue. So I have blue here in the front, but I don't have much. So this is how my hair is. I'm pretty sure I don't have a lot of color and I am liking my hair. Remember I was having issues with embracing my curls, whether it's I'm going to enjoy my curls or not. Oh, I have my orchids. Um, and I am embracing my curls. I have though. Let me get out of the sun. I have observed that my, the textures of my hair here in the front, where it's mostly gray, has different curl pattern and textures than the part that has the permanent dye, the permanent tinting. So is it appears that the grays, my grays, are mostly wavy at the ends and when it does you see when it does show some sort of curl pattern it's big that makes me happy um i also have noticed the colorista changes a little bit the 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 pattern of my hair not so much the pattern it it's it really removes a lot of the frizz because I've noticed that my hair where it's gray it looks more like um, cotton I don't know if any of you have that experience but notice this picture where my hair looks like if I have a cap on or something but it's like cotton and it seems to have hair like extra hair and it's frizzy like my hair would only look good when I refresh it and um, right after I wash it I don't know that I don't know if um, once it's longer I don't know but I do plan I do plan on getting it trimmed in September uh, so that it can start growing. I'm gonna go back to my guy. I miss him so much. He was the only one that did my hair the way I loved it when I was doing my hair, when I was blowing and flat ironing my hair. Um, I do plan though to celebrate my first year of going gray and natural. Um, and naturally curly just blowing it out just to see how long my hair is because 
it's so curly. Let's see. Well, it doesn't look so stretched now. So um, shrink. It doesn't have a lot of shrinkage right now. And I have noticed also that I don't have to refresh my curls every morning. Like this is the way my curls are now. It's still a little humid, but it's it's basically almost dry, right? And tomorrow morning, after I take off my pineapple, I just let it drop all by itself. I don't touch it too much because I was doing a lot of trying to get my hair to drop because it was so high up. And I've realized that when I just take off my pineapple and start getting myself ready, it starts falling on its own. It is preserving the curls. And when I look at myself, I don't need to refresh with water or any product. I do, by the way, think about doing the refreshing of my curls is already on the third day so I'll just start separating my hair and wet it and comb it and let the curls come to its natural form the natural texture and then it looks like I just washed my hair and it doesn't look bad so I'm able to wash my hair you know every four or five days instead of every three days. Anyways, I look forward to talking to you guys soon again. And I look forward to hearing from you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you want to learn anything else about what I'm doing with my hair, or if you have any suggestions, I'm down to try it. And I look forward to seeing you once I've blown out my hair.